I don't want to talk about it. Welcome to Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP here in the lovely, well-lit DP Dome. And we are managing Palomo in Syria. And we've won a couple of games. We beat Genoa 3-2 and we beat Sassuolo in the Coppa Italia 0-0. We won on penalties. And it was amazing. We are 16 games into the season and we're sitting in 17th place as the media predicted. Today we'll be playing Hellas Verona who are one spot below us in a relegation battle. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be them. We're on the same number of points. They're down in 18th place. We'll also be playing Fiorentina who are on a bit of a tear. They are further up the table sitting in ninth. But as you've just seen on the schedule, I have not been having a great time at all. I can't even remember, remember the last games you saw. I think it was Roma and Inter, uh, a 2-3 loss against Roma, uh, a 2-1 loss against Inter, and then we lost 2-0 against Juventus. We lost 1-0 against Sassuolo. That sucked. We played a friendly because there was a big gap in the schedule, so that doesn't matter. Uh, we lost to Udinese, 2-1. We drew with Napoli, nil all, which was pretty huge for us. We drew 1-1 with Parma. It's a game we should have won. Uh, we should have beaten Genoa, which we did. And uh, again, we managed to get past Sassuolo. You can see we've tried a, a couple of different things. A 4-2-3-1, uh, which wasn't working. Uh, kind of went a 4-4-2 at one point. That didn't work. We talked about changing the tactic. It was pointless. 4-2-3-1 with defensive midfielders. Didn't work. 4-3-3 DM wide. Kind of didn't work. And then this thing, a 4-1-1-3-1 somehow got us past Sassuolo. And a 4-2-4, which got us a result. So the tactic at the moment looks a little bit like this. We've gone back to this formation, the asymmetrical thingy. Uh, and... <laughs> Basically, I've decided let's stop fiddling and just stick with the formation that got us here come hell or high water because fiddling never helps anybody. Why is Salcedo set up as a pressing forward? That seems insane. Let's make him a uh, deep lying forward. Why not? Uh, basically, the problem is we're just getting overrun in midfield and we're trying to get bodies in there to, to help out and it's really not working. The form has been uh, abysmal. The dynamics aren't terrible and a couple of wins have helped us out, but Nicolau is still upset that I've offered him out for transfer. Uh, Chiquinho is not happy that I went absolutely spare after the loss against Udinese. And Renzo Malanca is annoyed that I've changed his playing time because he's not really playing and shouldn't be an important player. So I sought to fix that and that's caused problems. Uh, Brunori has been injured, which sucks. Estevez, uh, our loney right back, has been injured, which sucks. No one's playing super well. We've got a bunch of sixes. Uh, Chiquinho has been very ordinary. Uh, on the left wing, but I'm trying to keep him happy because I made a promise to play him as a left winger and forgot. So we're trying to fix that. Uh, Awusu isn't getting game time while he's out on loan. I promised Chikino I'll reduce the number of unhappy plays. He's pleased with that, but not happy about his uh, preferred position. I've got 54 days left to fix that. He did give me a bit more time because he was injured. But all in all, I've been enjoying my football too much. It's, um, yeah, it hasn't been fun. Uh, Volpato also not playing well. I'm going to drop him uh, for this one. And we're going to play... Uh, I'm going to play... No, nope, screw it. He's going to play. I'm going to leave it alone. That's what we've got. That's what we're working with. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Just want to get through this game or through these matches. Get through to the transfer window. Hopefully move some players out that we don't need. Send some bodies on loan to free up some squad spots. And hopefully... Bring in some players who can help us out, potentially just loanees because we don't have bags of cash. But if we can get some value for any of the, the dead weight, then I'll be a very happy camper. But it's been tough. Financially, we're inside the wage budget. I've had to take some of the transfer budget, which was over $2 million, and pump it in here. I don't even know how it happened. It's just been, it's just been not... Let's go play Hellas Verona and hopefully get a victory and get three on the bounce and change the narrative a little bit because it's not been fun times. Also, I'll just show you, you may have seen it uh, before we dove into all of that. 
Our highest average rating is our goalkeeper, which tells you a lot. He's been under consistent pressure. Our top goal scorers are Vasic and Saidi, both with three goals apiece. Brunori isn't wor working. Um, I'm having flashbacks to Wizard of Oz now and our first stint here at Palermo. But, got to remember, we've gone up a division. We're in Sy Syria. It's always going to be harder. We are definitely in a relegation fight. Three points here takes us a little bit further away from that mess and it would be really, really important. But the form we've been in, even though we've had two wins on the bounce, we've definitely done it the hard way. And oh, just horrible. And the other thing, uh, what's his face? Moscone, our backup striker, the Deloney, just not firing. Just not firing. He's had a couple of goals disallowed through some of these matches. But... Uh, and I think of the two of them, he's been offside for both. So he's got no spatial awareness, no idea where he is or what he should be doing. Our crowd's are going down. <laughs> it's all going wrong. But hopefully today we're going to write some of these wrong. Whoa, match speed has gone bonkers. And that's from playing the in-betweeny bits. Apologies for that. That is a bit nuts. Is this more sensible? That's a bit more sensible. <laughs> I have been playing on fast forward. Again, because I've not been having a great time and I just wanted to get three games. I, actually, the, the truth is the penalty shootout in the uh, in the cup game, I hate sitting there and watching penalty shootouts. So I just put it at max speed and cross my fingers. Because there's nothing you can do in that situation. It's all up to the match engine. Anyway, I mean, I could stop and restart and or cut that out. No, not going to. Editing takes up a lot of time. So, no. Anyway... Other than that, everything's been lovely. I've had a great week. I hope you're all having a great week too. And I hope you're enjoying the Wizard of, uh, the Wizard of Oz. That's the wrong save, DP. That's not happening until FM25. That's next March. If you're enjoying Project Palomo, don't forget, hit the like button and let us know. Leave a comment and tell me what you think I'm doing wrong or how we can fix this. For starters, that guy should have been marked, so that's probably something we can change. You can tell me about that in the comments because now we're 1-0 down against a team we should absolutely be beating and I'm not happy about it. Welcome to my world. Also, subscribe to the channel. If you are uh, watching, if you're new around these parts, uh, do your old mate DP a solid and cheer me up because it's been a torrid, torrid time. We've got plenty of time, speaking of time, in this match to turn things around. All is not lost. We just need everybody to dig deep and pull us out of this nosedive. Very, very important. We're going to demand more because more is what we need. More footballing goodness. And it's just not happening. We're not getting attacking highlights. We're not creating any chances. We're going to go attacking, which won't kick in until after this highlight. Assuming anything happens at all in this way, right? we've just given the ball straight back to Hellas Verona, which is not ideal. Mercandali now with the ball up to Blin, through to Ranokia, back to Mercandali, to Perotti. We're getting very boxed in over this side. We kept very compact. Is it just me, or is this slower than we'd like? We'll see if we can actually generate some sort of forward momentum, what happens. That's a bit more like it. Here's Chiquinho, passes through, finds Valparto. He's got players in the middle, if he can find them. And so Sado just unaware that that ball was coming in, just waltzing along, easy as you like. And it's been the, the story, the common story. Lots of this build-up play and just no product. No end product to speak of. Here's Radeke now, plays it across the blin, into Valparto, tries to shoot, and there's a goal from Chiquinho. Uh, just checking the flag isn't up. Just before half time, it's a good time to score. This is running too slow. I'm just going to up the match speed a tiny, tiny little bit. Apologies for the unprofessional nature of this. And we've set off a flare. I haven't seen one of those for a while. You lot probably have. I've been paying attention. But there we go. We've got a game now. This is better. We'll encourage the boys instead of chipping them for once. And we head into half time with some very tired bodies. And. Uh, let's see. Uh, time for everyone to dig in. Dig in. Whoops. That was the wrong option. I've ruined everything. We're going to lose now. Dahl's upset. Deary, deary me. Right. Let's encourage and undo that damage straight away. 
and hopefully turn it around. I'm just going to stay on attacking. There's absolutely no point sitting on positive. We need to win. We need three points from this match. A draw does absolutely nothing for us. It keeps us level on points with these clowns. And they've been getting even more battered than we are. And they've just had a player sent off. So positive signs for us. Is Blin injured? I don't know. Hopefully not. We don't even get a highlight from that free kick though. And with 20 minutes to go, we're going to make a couple of changes. Perazzi just hasn't shown up for us. But I don't know what to do about that. Uh, Ratnik can come on and cover over there. Pause the game, DP. Things are going on. I'm not paying attention. Let's see. Uh, Sam Dahl is apprehensive, so Dechiara is composed and come on for him. Marcel is motivated and he can come on for Saidi. And will that do for now? I think so. Everyone else looks pretty cool. Confirm those changes. Back into the action. Let's encourage the boys again. I had dropped it back to positive, but we're going to stay on attacking. They're a man down, and we've got to be able to capitalise on this sort of situation. Rocky is tiring, so Segre can come on for him. And for my final trick, is it even worth making another change? Again, Salcedo just hasn't really shown up. Do we keep him on and change his role? Or do we see if Moscone's not even fully fit, so there's no point bringing him on. Bugger it, let's go very attacking and see if we can get a result. And if we don't, it makes perfect sense. Six minutes of time added on. It's one all. They're a man down. And are we about to concede a, a, a late winner for Hellas Verona? Would not surprise me. Here's Chiquinho making a run. I thought he was fouled there, but apparently not. Ball in to Blin. He's going to shoot from outside. Takes a big deflection. And Blin get... Why does Blin get credited for that when it's taken a huge deflection and gone in? That is not at all where he was going to put that ball. And yet we've seen other goals, whether here or with Deadpool FT over on Twitch. Check that out. That's an own goal. But he gets no justice in this world. What well, does give us justice. We've definitely been the better team. And we've only gone and won a football game, everybody. Oh, apparently, they're only going to turn it on for you lot. Well done, lads. We weren't at our best, but we got a result. You... You let yourself down and deserve to come off. Everything else was mostly positive. We've got a lot of tired bodies, though. And that sees us rocket up the table to 15th. We're well off the pace. We're not going to win the league. Spoilers. But we do get a bit of breathing room now. Three points, in fact, between us and the teams below us in that relegation battle. We could do with another three points. But it's a big ask against Fiorentina. Well, I've managed before in Football Manager, not in a save that any of you would have seen because it was a personal save on the Switch for FM 19 or 20 or 21. No idea. Anyway, let me deal with all the off-pitch things. Hopefully we have Brunori back fit for the next game and we'll see how we go against good old Fiorentina. We're going to get battered. Here we are then, ready to face off against a Fiorentina who have dropped down to 10th because of other results. I suspect that's Milan. Uh, smashing Sassuolo, and they've dropped down. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, in terms of changes, well, there's one that's forced on us. Chiquinho is off to the African Cup of Nations, which I'd kind of forgotten about. That's a problem. But I guess we can throw Volpato on the play on that side as the inverted winger. What do you want to do over there? Inverted winger on support, so you can do that. I'm determined to get a good performance out of this man. Inverted winger on support. So a few changes for this one, uh, just because needs must. So Fructil and goal, of course. Dahl, uh, Cekaroni and Velekovic as our centre-backs. He's now four and a half star. Look at that. Flukovic. Lovely stuff. Can't decide how to say his name. Uh, Pierotti, uh, right back. Then Blin and Segre, the midfield. Renokia just having a rest. I've also realised Renokia, for this whole time I've been using him relentlessly, uh, after the transfer saga, through the summer and everything else and trying to move plays out. He was set to surplus to requirements. I fixed that. It's now regarded as a regular starter within the squad and his playing time will suit that, which is good. Also, uh, I think it was Nicolau has 
no, he's still got his beef, but somebody else has given up on their issue. Ratnik, I, I think, has given up being a, a Suki Lula about his playing time. So that is very, very nice. Uh, where were we up to? Segre midfield. And then Vopato, who you've just seen coming on the left. Vasic and Saidi complete the uh, attacking mid. And then Brunori is back in the team. He's finding fit and ready to go at centre forward. Um, do we keep him as complete forward? We might make him an advance forward and just see if we can get a performance out of him that way. That's what he did for most of last season. Chiquinho's still in the squad for some reason. Get out of there, you cheeky little monkey. We may as well move Moscone down and Salcedo up because Moscone's not going to get a look in. And he's rubbish. I don't want to play him. He's too young. He's not good enough. And we can't get a performance out of him. So maybe a cameo off the bench. We'll see how fitness goes with everybody else. I did give everybody the day off after that last win. Because I think they earned it. They picked up three points. It was valuable. And we played a lot of games pretty close together without much rest. So a bit of a breather for the boys. What's the worst that could happen? And now we need to see if we can go out there and cause an upset against Fiorentina, who are absolutely the favourites for this one. We've got an attacking highlight. What are the chances? Haven't seen too many of these of late, as you can imagine, given the results. But we've lost the ball there cheaply, and that's disappointing. Now we've got a job to do to try and win it back and get the football off these purple clowns. It is a nice purple, though. And as I said, I've got previous with Fiorentina in Football Manager. This guy's going to turn and shoot, and it's taken a deflection, and it's in. We've conceded another early goal, despite the fact I've got all of our best defenders on the pitch. And it's just baffling that the defence does not work. It doesn't matter what I do. And the defensive mid doesn't seem to be having a lot of impact. So who's this here? Uh, Blin. I stuck his foot out, the defensive mid, and has seen it into the goal pass for Ictor. That's just unfortunate. I'm not going to chip anybody for that. That's fine. It's just one of those things. But now, we've got our work cut out for us. We have not had a shot despite having a majority of the possession. So we're going to go attacking. We've already picked up three yellow cards, which is ridiculous. What is going on with this team? I just don't know. Like, the, the form's been improving. We've been winning games. We're grinding them out. But a win is a win. But honestly, we just can't get anything going. And if anything, the wins we've got, we've been very, very fortunate and lucky. Like, even in that last game, a deflected goal that should have been an only we get credit for. They're going to score here. Oh, a good save from Fruchtel. We would be in even worse of a position if it wasn't for Fruchtel. Definitely my best signing so far. And even then, it was kind of forced on us because we had to have a goalkeeper. It was all we could get, uh, realistically, but... He's made a huge difference and kept us in games we've had no right to be in. You've been terrible so far. And they really have. Just, we've got possession, but we're not doing anything at all with it. Let's drop Brunori back a little bit. We'll get him going back to complete forward so he can do whatever he likes. Maybe on a support instruction. Try and get him a bit more involved. You're on support. We're going to put you on attack instead. And not an inside forward because there's no point. Valpato really hasn't shown up for us. We might just um, look to switch sides for the two attacking mids as well. Because I prefer them the other way around. With Valpato on the right and Saidi on the left. But first we've got to make it through this highlight. Hopefully without conceding yet another rubbish goal. And I don't think we're going to because they're in behind here. And that was just all too easy. And we're being taken to school. We just have no... The defence is just a mess. And we've got good players back there, or at least decent players. It's just not working. I don't know what to do. I've got option paralysis at this point. <laughs> and, yeah. Mm. Parazzi just awful at right back. So I may as well just change it because at a 6.2, he's not going to be the difference maker, is he? Moving on then. Back to positive. Fructal kicks it out. Segre collects. Gives the ball straight back to Fiorentina. We're now sending it to a wide position. Looking across it in. Getting behind. Vasic gets his boot in but gives the ball away once more. 
Come on, boys, just defend. There we go. Ball's out, but it's back on the edge of our area. Dodo's bursting in here. Another, just another good save from Fructal. Again, would be such a state without that guy trying to, desperately to keep our head above water. So he hasn't shown up today. So I think myself, come on on that side. Vampato has just been ineffective yet again, which is really disappointing. Actually, undo that. Vampato can go into the center because apparently he can do this, but I'm yet to see any evidence of it. And so Sado can come on to help us out there. And Lukovic, who was coming into the team to try and shore up the defense, has not done that job. An attacking highlight for us with 30 minutes to go. Let's see what happens. Brunori's on a 6.2, by the way. Getting nothing done for us. And so Sado's on the pitch. He's in, and he scored. All right, so we can encourage the lads. That's a sign of life from Palermo, finally. So Vipato there, getting involved. Marcel is tackled, Benori lays it back to Segre, and then Salcedo in a good position. The more I'm seeing it, the more I'm thinking Salcedo just needs to play in place of Vipato because I can't get a performance out of him. It is just not happening. And now Salcedo is injured. That's just, that's just brilliant. Only player to show a sign of life in this game. <laughs> oh, my word. And now we've really got our work cut out for us. At least we had a substitution left. Let's just go very attacking. See if we can get an equaliser. And then we'll start dropping bodies back, I guess. And try to keep ourselves in the match. Segre to Marcel. Looking for an option. No, he's going to shoot. Gets it on target. It's a good save from the keeper. I suspect he saw that all the way. And now we've got to try and win the ball back and go on the attack. Aimless ball forward. We're giving it straight back to Fiorentina again. But Segre gets his boot in. Oh, Vapato with the challenge. But once again, it goes back to Fiorentina. They've got numbers. Uh, that's just unfortunate and Fructal spares our blushes once again we encourage the boys come on now I think we might just drop back to attacking as much as we're chasing the game attacking's fine but we've got some dead men walking on the pitch 6.4 ratings and no energy we are just asking for a red card at this stage and that's a little too easy we're not expect this is not a game we're expected to win, but uh, you know, we could put up more of a fight. Just more of a fight. Just some energy, some effort. Drop it back to positive and just try to stop the bleeding or it's it's gonna decimate morale yet again. Oh, that's a lot off. He really should have scored there. Fructal was out of position. He was rooted to the center of his uh, goal area. Now that we've dropped back to positive, you watch us get another goal. And then I start second guessing myself and thinking, well, if we'd say positive the whole game, would we have put up that challenge that I'm looking for? Nobody knows. Here's Brunori into Basconi. He hits it wide. Golden opportunity for him to open his account. Yes, with that many games into the season and he has not scored a goal. He's absolutely useless, and I need him out of the football club. So there you have it. Another loss against Fiorentina. We were the underdogs. You gave it your best effort. Everybody switched off because they know, no, we didn't. You're a liar, boss. Absolute dirty liar. And now we're only two points clear of the drop zone, down in 15th place. And Cagliari, who have dropped well off the pace after a fast start, have a game in hand on us, a good job. So we could drop to 16th, and that would be very disappointing. It's all just disappointing at this point. But maybe against Monza, I can I can get us some three points and get things back off track. We've lost Sado for three weeks, so that is disappointing. Bianco reports on Valpato. He should be better than he is, and he's just not. I don't know what to do. Nothing is working. We will come back, and you lot can have a look at us after January. We'll come back at the end of January, uh, or maybe in the middle. We'll have a look at Juventus. 
and Bologna, an away game against Juve. I don't think you've seen us play Juve yet. And Bologna, and you can see what transfer business, if any, I managed to get done there. And that will be in the next episode. So if you've had a good time today, I can't imagine why you would have, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Really important would help me out if you can do that and leave a comment as well. Until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, you're probably a Palomo player, but also don't get caught. Come on, come on.